Hello everyone, I am White Cow. Nice to meet you. Today, I will introduce several music playback tools that can be used in a CUI environment and actually install them. It is a tool that does not support mouse operation, but is still popular. By mastering this, you will also be able to set up a music server. I will show you some relatively new and popular items in the video. The ones we will actually install and test are CMUS, NCMPCPP, and MPD. Let's get started. Since the audio source device varies depending on the person, we will use VirtualBox. With this approach, I believe it will be less likely for anyone to encounter problems with not being able to play music, regardless of who tries it. I have installed Ubuntu Server on VirtualBox. I have released several videos about VirtualBox in the past, so please feel free to watch them if you are interested. Since copy and paste cannot be done in the VirtualBox interface, which is a drawback, I will use a certain method to overcome this. I will set up port forwarding and connect via SSH. With this setup, it can be operated just like a cloud service. First, we will install CMUS. Actually, it can be installed with just one command, but I will compile it from the source. I will create a clone of CMUS by referring to its GitHub page. I will move to the directory created by the clone. There are several files inside the directory. I will execute the script used to prepare for the compilation and installation of the software. An error has occurred. It seems that GCC is missing. I will install GCC and other development tools. Now that the installation of the missing tools is complete, I will enter the previous command again. This time, a different error has occurred. It turns out that the issue is due to the absence of pkgconfig and the ncurses library. I will install pkgconfig. Next, I will install ncurses. Will it work this time, I wonder? It seems like several packages are missing. These libraries may be necessary for certain features of CMUS. I will install all the libraries that are indicated as missing. It took quite some time, but the installation is now complete. I will keep trying until it works successfully. I overlooked a part. I will install this as well. I'm starting to feel a bit tired. Such troubles are part and parcel of the process. Finally, it worked successfully. Next, I will enter the make command. Make is a tool used for automating the software build process. A few warnings appeared. At this point, these warnings do not hinder the completion of the build process. Since it's not an error, I will continue to input important commands used in the final stage of the software build process.
The installation of CMUS has been completed. I will check the operation. An error has occurred. I will terminate the program for now. By pressing the number 7, you can see the key that plays or stops the music, so I will check it a bit. There are many, so I will check the keys necessary for the minimum requirements such as volume adjustment and stopping. By pressing the number 5, you can see the directory structure, so I will move to the location where the music files are. However, there is no sound. I will try launching the program with root privileges. I did it. The sound came out. Next, I will install NCMPCPP and MPD. NCMPCPP is the playback client and MPD is the music server. This time, I will do a simple installation with a single command. Have you understood how to compile from the source? Hello, I am Simaji. From here on out, I will be serving as a narrator. Thank you in advance. The installation of the client and server has been completed. I am making the client a different computer or smartphone. You can listen to music anywhere. MPD requires configuration. I will check the configuration file. There are various settings, but for now, I will leave them at their default values. When I check the status of MPD, it is stopped, so I will start it. I will launch the client and check its operation. I was able to connect to the host. However, the volume is set to Anna, and it doesn't seem like the sound will come out. It seems that I need to edit the configuration file after all. I will terminate the program and set it up. To terminate the program, press the English key on your keyboard. If there is no sound, it may indicate a problem with the audio output settings of MPD. When I check the file, the audio output section was treated as a comment. I will describe only the general parts. The sound source device varies from person to person. However, since I am using VirtualBox, there is a high chance that you will get sound if you do the same thing. After editing the file, make sure not to forget to restart MPD. Just in case there might be a configuration mistake, I will check the status. I will launch the client and check if the sound is playing. This time, the volume is not set to Anna. You adjust the volume using the plus and minus keys. The sound is playing, but there is no change in volume even if you adjust it. I will introduce a solution to this. Enter the command shown in the video. I will install the tool because it is not available. A play is part of the Alsys sound card driver and is used to list up information about audio devices. It seems that devices are not displayed without administrator privileges. From the output of the apply command, we can see that the available audio device is card 0, device 0. Based on this information, we set the audio output section of the file as follows.
we will revert to the original description we first wrote. Based on the information obtained from the output, I will add an audio section. I will restart MPD. Since I can adjust the volume, I think the settings have been successful. You can also listen on other computers or smartphones, but I would like to introduce that in the next video. I will end here for today. Thank you for watching.